One crazy fact about every NBA Finals. Quick note, whichever team I name first in each series, one said series. 1947, Philadelphia Warriors vs. Chicago Stags. The first Finals ever, and the Stags no longer exist. The Warriors hold the first chip in NBA history. 1948, Baltimore Bullets vs. Warriors. This version of the Bullets no longer exist. They share no history with the current Wizards. So even though they won a championship, that banner has nowhere to hang outside a museum. 1949, Minneapolis Lakers vs. Cavs. Capitals. The Washington Capitals no longer exist either. They too share no history with the current Wizards. But they lost, so it's not like the Wizards want that on the record anyway. 1950, Lakers vs. Nationals. This was the Nationals' first season of existing, so making it all the way to the finals in year one is pretty crazy impressive even for the 50s. Plus, they're the current day 76ers. 1951, Rochester Royals vs. New York Knicks. The first Game 7 in NBA Finals history. The Royals won that Game 7, so there you have it, Kings fans. Some Something to be proud about. 1952, Minneapolis Lakers vs. New York Knicks, the second Game 7 in NBA Finals history, and the Knicks lost two Game 7s back to back. Ouch. 1953, Lakers vs. Knicks again. The first three-peat loss belongs to the Knicks, losing three finals in a row. 1954, Lakers vs. Nationals. The first three-peat win in history belongs to the Lakers, winning three finals in a row. 1955, Nationals vs. Fort Wayne Pistons. 1955 was a special year for sports in general, as the NBA, NHL, and MLB all went to Game 7s for their World Championship Series. Heck, if the NFL had a seven-game series, I'm sure it would have gone to seven in that year, too. 1956, Philadelphia Warriors vs. Fort Wayne Pistons. One of only two finals in which the two teams alternated home games, the other being 1971. This is basically a 1-1-1-1-1-1-1 format instead of the popular 2-3-2 or 2-2-1-1-1 format in terms of home versus road games. 1957, Celtics vs. Hawks. Bill Russell's first ring, he was a rookie champ, and the first finals decided by an over Overtime Game 7. 1958, Hawks vs. Celtics. Bill Russell's first and only finals loss. 1959, Celtics vs. Lakers. The first sweep in finals history as the Celtics swept the Lakers. 1960, Celtics vs. Hawks. This was the last time the finals would start in the month of March. 1961, Celtics vs. Hawks again. So far, this is the last Hawks finals appearance. They have the second longest finals drought, second only to the Kings. 1962, Celtics vs. Los Angeles Lakers. The second and latest finals with a Game 7 overtime. Only two so far exist. Both contain Celtics wins and Bill Russell wins. He led the team in scoring with 22.9 per game, rebounds with 27 per game, and minutes with 48.3 per game. Out of a total of 48 minutes, this guy was a legend. 1963, Three, Celtics vs. Lakers. The Celtics won this series in six, despite scoring less total points throughout the entirety of the series. The Lakers dropped 679 points within six games. The Celtics only scored 668 points. 1964, Celtics vs. San Francisco Warriors. This was the Celtics' eighth straight trip to the finals and the first Bill Russell vs. Wilt Chamberlain finals matchup. 1965, Celtics vs. LA Lakers. The Celtics were beating the Lakers so bad in game four that AB ABC News stopped broadcasting it and aired the next scheduled show instead. 1966, Celtics vs. Lakers again. The Lakers were down 3-1 in the series. They were able to force a Game 7, but they did not win that Game 7. I guess they didn't have LeBron on their roster. 1967, Philadelphia 76ers vs. San Francisco Warriors. Wilt Chamberlain's first ring and the only time in the 60s we did not see the Celtics participate or win the NBA Finals. 1968, Celtics vs. Lakers. Game 6 of the series was the first time that any NBA game was played during the month of May, which took place on May 2nd, 1968. 1969, nice, Celtics vs. Lakers again. The first finals with the finals MVP being Jerry West, who lost the finals and is the only losing member to hold a finals MVP. 1970, Knicks vs. Lakers. The Knicks won in seven, but if there was a three-point arc in this era, things could have been different because in game three, Jerry West had a half-court miracle shot to force an overtime, but if that was worth three points instead of two points, the Lakers could have won that game straight out. 1971, Bucks vs. Baltimore Bullets. The second sweep in finals history in the second and last time we saw a 1-1-1-1 format with the home and away games alternating one game at a time. 
1972 Lakers vs Knicks. The Lakers at the time had the best regular season record with 69 nice wins and 13 losses. They won 33 of those games in a row. 1973 Knicks vs Lakers. This series was like the polar opposite of the matchup one season prior. In the 1972 matchup, the Knicks won game one and then lost four straight. In this series, the Lakers won game one and then lost four straight to the Knicks. 1974 Celtics vs Bucks. This was the last Last time the Celtics won a Game 7 on the road in the finals, and the last time in the playoffs since the epic Game 7 road win in 2022 when the Celtics beat Miami in Game 7. 1975 Golden State Warriors vs Washington Bullets This was the first championship game slash series in US pro sports history to feature two African American head coaches facing each other. This includes the Warriors coach Al Adels and the Bullets coach Casey Jones. Rest in peace to Casey Jones. 1976 Celtics vs Versus Suns. Game 5 of this series is known as the greatest game ever played as it includes a triple overtime, the Celtics had a 16 point lead at the half, which was a huge deal for 70s basketball. The fact that the Suns forced 3 overtimes was crazy. They still lost by 3 in that game and eventually lost the series in 6, but that was one heck of a game. 1977 Trailblazers vs 76ers. This is the youngest championship team in NBA history so far. This roster had an average weighted age of 24.19 years old. 1978 Bullets vs Supersonics. This is the first and only NBA Finals so far during the 82 game season era to feature two teams with less than 50 regular season wins. The 1978 Bullets went 44 and 38 as a third seed and the Supersonics went 47 and 35 as a fourth seed. 1979 Supersonics vs Bullets Both this series and the one prior were nicknamed the George Washington series as it was Washington DC vs the state of Washington. 1980 Lakers vs 76ers This was the first NBA Finals with a three point line. The Lakers only attempted four threes in the entire series and missed all of them. The 76ers attempted 16 threes in the entire six game series and only made one of them. 1981 Celtics vs Rockets This is the third time and latest so far to feature a team with a losing record in the finals. The first was the 1957 finals with the first seeded Hawks with the record of 34 and 38. The second was the second seeded Lakers in 1959 with a record of 33 and 39. This was the third with the six seeded Rockets going 40 and 42. 1982 Lakers vs 76ers. This was the first finals to be claimed on the winning team's home court since 1977. 1983 76ers vs Lakers. This, along with the 1989 and NBA Finals were the only two NBA championships of the 1980s to not be won by either the Lakers or Boston Celtics. 1984 Celtics vs Lakers This was the last NBA Finals to use the 2 2 1 1 1 format until 2014. 1985 Lakers vs Celtics This series was the last time the NBA World Championship Series branding would be used at an NBA Finals, as the NBA Finals branding would replace it in 1986 and continuing. 1986 Celtics vs Rockets This was Hakeem's second year in the league and he already led his team to the Finals. And sure, he still lost, but one one could argue he had no business beating a prime first seeded Showtime Lakers in five games in the Western Finals and then making it to the NBA Finals in year two of his career. This was an amazing achievement even if the Rockets still lost. 1987 Lakers vs Celtics This was the first finals to take place entirely during the month of June. 1988 Lakers vs Pistons The Lakers won in seven and this was the first Game 7 NBA Finals win in Los Angeles history. The Lakers last won the finals Game 7 in 1954 but that was in Minneapolis. 1989 Pistons vs Lakers After the series, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar announced his retirement at 42 years old. 1990 Pistons vs Blazers the Pistons became the third franchise in NBA history to win back-to-back -back titles after the Lakers, then Celtics. 1991 Bulls vs Lakers This was not the first Chicago Bulls vs Lakers playoff series. Prior to 1980, the Bulls were in the Western Conference. Thus, the Lakers and Bulls faced off in the postseason in 1968, 1971, 1972, and 1973. 1992 Bulls vs Trailblazers Sports Illustrated named Clyde Drexler to be Jordan's number one rival, hoping to recreate a Larry vs Magic type rivalry. 1993 Bulls vs Suns the Bulls became the first team in the three-point era to three-peat. The Phoenix Suns have two different triple overtime NBA Finals games. The first one was when they lost
lost to the Celtics in Game 5 of the 1976 Finals. The second triple overtime in the Finals was Game 3 of the 1993 Finals, in which the Suns beat the Bulls 129-121. to 1994, Rockets vs. Knicks. Pat Riley became the first and only so far NBA Finals coach to lose two Game Final 7s on two different teams, losing a Game 7 coaching the Lakers and losing this Game 7. Had he won this Game 7, he would have had the opposite achievement as the first coach to win two Game 7s on two different teams. 1995 Rockets vs Magic The Rockets were a sixth seed in the postseason and became the first NBA team to win a title without home court advantage in the 16 format playoff era. The Magic had the first seed by the way and got swept. And by no home court advantage, I mean that for the entirety of the postseason, not just the finals. 1996 Bulls vs Supersonics This finals had the most combined regular season wins with 130 36 total wins. The Bulls went 72 and 10, and the Sonics went 64 and 18. 1997 Bulls versus Jazz. This finals had the second most combined regular season wins with 133, as the Bulls went 69, nice, and 13, and the Jazz went 64 and 18. The Jazz could not win this series. 18 is too high of a loss total. They much would have rather had 13 losses. The most live viewed finals game was Game 6 of the 1998 NBA Finals with almost 36 million live viewers. That was Jordan's last finals game. 1999 Spurs vs Knicks, the first NBA Finals to feature a number 1 seed versus a number 8 seed. The one seeded Spurs won in 5 games. 2000 Lakers vs Pacers, as of this upload, this is the Pacers only NBA Finals appearance so far but they've been to plenty of ABA Finals going to 5 of them winning 3 ABA chips but none in the NBA. 2001 Lakers vs 76ers, this Laker team had the best postseason record in the first round best of 5 era going 15-1 for this postseason and yes that one loss is from Allen Iverson. 2002 Lakers vs Nets, as of this upload, this was the last finals to date hosted by NBC. ABC currently hosts the NBA Finals. 2003 Spurs vs Nets. This was the first NBA Finals between two former ABA teams as the Spurs and Nets used to play in the ABA. 2004 Pistons vs Lakers. The owner of the Pistons at the time, William Davidson, became the first owner in American pro sports history to win two championships in the same year as he also owned the Tampa Bay Lightning and won the Stanley Cup Finals in that same year, 04. 2005 5 Spurs vs Pistons. These teams were defensive juggernauts. In 04, they were tied for the number one defense in the league, and in 2005, the Spurs were the number one defense and the Pistons were number two. This series went to seven games and was a tough call either way, but the Spurs won in seven. 2006 Heat vs Mavericks. This was the only NBA Finals of the 2000s to not feature the Lakers or Spurs, and was the first finals where both arenas were named after the same company, American Airlines Arena. 2007 Spurs vs Cavaliers. This was the last sweep in NBA Finals history until 2018, but both sweeps feature LeBron James and the Cavaliers getting swept. 2008 Celtics vs Lakers. Both teams had crazy backstories to reach this point. This was the first year the big three Celtics played together with KG, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen. As for the Lakers, Phil Jackson retired after the 2004 loss of the Pistons, the Lakers missed the playoffs in the 0405 season, and Kobe requested a trade in 2007. Phil came back, and the Lakers managed to make the finals in 08, yet they lost to the Celtics. But don't worry, Laker fans, here comes 2009 and 2010. 2009 Lakers vs Magic The Lakers easily won the series in 5 games, and Game 3 is the only finals win so far in Magic franchise history, considering they got swept by the Rockets in their other appearance. 2010 Lakers vs Celtics Kobe Bryant is the only member of the NBA 75 club to beat 4 50 plus win teams in a single playoff run, aka winning the chip beating 4 50 plus win teams, without another top 75 NBA teammate. 2011 Mavericks vs Heat LeBron James averaged 3 points per game in the 4th quarter of this finals, arguably his worst finals performance of his career. 2012 Heat vs Thunder The 2012 Thunder were the third youngest NBA Finals team in history. They have an average age of 25.7. The 1977 Blazers were 24.19. The 1956 Warriors were 25.58. 2013 Heat vs Spurs This finals featured the most international players on both rosters with a combined total of 10 players. 2014 Spurs vs Heat The 2014 San Antonio Spurs have the highest point differential by a team in an NBA Finals 
Finals with a 70 point differential over the Miami Heat. 2015 Warriors vs Cavaliers For the first time in the NBA Finals, the first two games went to overtime in the series. Warriors won game one and the Cavs won game two. 2016 Cavaliers vs Warriors The Warriors and Cavs were exactly tied in total number of points going into game seven. In 2016, they each scored 610 points apiece for the first six games. 2017 Warriors vs Cavaliers Adding Kevin Durant to this already stacked team easily meant that the Warriors had a 15-0 start in the playoffs and the most consecutive postseason wins in NBA history, and their 16-1 record is the best winning percentage in NBA playoff history, with a percentage of 94.1%. 2018 Warriors vs Cavaliers The first time in any North American major professional sports leagues to have the two same teams meet up four years in a row. 2019 Raptors vs Warriors Game 1 of this series broke viewership records for both countries. This was the most viewed Canadian NBA game with 3.3 million viewers, but the least viewed American Game 1 aside from the bubble finals with 10.7 million US viewers. 2020 Lakers vs Heat LeBron James and Anthony Davis became the first teammates in NBA history to both average 25 points per game and shoot 50% from the field in the same postseason. 2021 Bucks vs Suns Jay Crowder was was the only player across both rosters to have finals experience heading into this series. This was the first time that ever happened. There is two times when neither team had any finals experience. That was obviously the first ever finals, and then the 1977 finals between the Blazers and 76ers. 2022 Warriors vs Celtics Steph Curry is the sixth oldest player to win finals MVP. The five that are older are Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, Walt Chamberlain, LeBron James, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Which means if you think about it, finals MVP Iggy Adala is younger than finals MVP Steph Curry. 2023 Nuggets vs Heat The Nuggets are just the second ABA team to win an NBA championship. Only they and the Spurs are NBA champs. Every other ABA team currently in the NBA are ringless, at least for now. So here was one crazy fact from every NBA Finals. Let me know what your favorite final series is and what you want to see next. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind and I'll fast forward to you later.